Hello everyone, this is Vijay Zay for YouTube back again and do I have something special for you today or what? I have decided I'm going to have a used deck sale and keep in mind most of my decks used it means still in excellent condition because I barely use them um, and some of these are actually still well there might be one or two that are actually new first of all there is couple of these ones I should say these ones that I'm selling you right now I'm looking to go for like two fifty each it's two dollars and fifty cents each I got bicycle seconds in red and blue nothing wrong with them even though they're seconds cards they're still in good condition I got a uh, two pack of the Hoyle slice still actually brand new never opened I think it's got tape on it but um yeah, they're still, those ones are still actually in self and they're still brand new. I got this uh, little Spanish deck. It's actually bigger than a poker sized deck by a bit, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless. With Spanish faces, faces and these are Barrazas. Cards are definitely better quality in the box, I assure you. Um, they got this King's cards. They're marked. It's a marked deck of cards. It's not USB-C, despite saying Erkus and Finis. But it is what it is. I got this Outlaws of the Mars Chinese deck. I've done a review on it. Kind of interesting card, especially for, like a fanning deck. Um, Chinese artwork. And I do have one also that is still brand new and sealed that you can have for five bucks if you don't want the one that I opened for review. I have um, this is actually a deck I got from somebody as a uh, sample deck. It's actually it can be used as a regular deck of cards, but it's also a golf game, trivia and stuff like that. Smooth finish, plastic coated. It is what it is. Uh, basically, I said it was a sample deck, but you can have it for two bucks, maybe less. I just want, or two fifty, I should say, maybe less. I just want to get rid of some of these decks because they're taking up lots of space, so they're going cheap. Uh, then we got this one. It's actually pretty good quality. It was up on a Kickstarter project before. The creator sent me this as a sample. This is not the one that was on Kickstarter. This is basically a prototype. But as you can see, the quality is very nice, actually. Faces, a little bit strange. Day of the Dead themed. Pretty artistic. The quality is actually pretty good on the cards. Strange music. Deck of cards, it is it was okay. I do got a bicycle rummy deck, of course, excellent quality deck. Uh MMD comic deck uh number two, second edition. Double croon. This is a Cardamunde deck. Pretty nice back, but fairly standard on the faces. Uh nothing customized, good quality. I got this, it's a Cardamunde deck, it's a cell back as you can see. You can sort of see I guess, there's cells. Um, it's in this little plastic case. That's how it came to me. I just opened it for review. And that's that, it's just a pretty standard deck. I got a Walking Dead deck of cards. Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Oops, souvenir deck. That, um, I can't remember how I got these decks, but I did. I think somebody sent them to me, but I have no real use for them. They just wanted me to review them. Uh, I got a mini Artifice First Edition in blue. These are five bucks on the website. You can get one 
that I opened for review for 250. I've got 601 Eagle from Cardamunde in blue. A Star Wars vehicles playing cards, also a Cardamunde deck. I've got these cards here. They say they are John Newman color cards. Um, I don't know if they're called a wounded or what. There's one red, there's one blue. Pretty standard, except that each suit has its own color, which I do like. And they're bridge sized as well. As is that this one is bridge sized as well, just in case you wanted. And so is the strange music. And the rest are all poker sized so far, from what I can recall. Except for that Barraza, which is kind of an odd deck. And there's still a bunch more here. I got. Ascombs playing cards, red and blue. Uh, yeah, I do got some sealed ones if you don't want open ones. I'll do them for five bucks each. These ones 250 each. I got a Sun Pacific uh, deck from Binion's Casino. It is cancelled. The corner is clipped, but otherwise pretty good quality from a apparently made in China deck. For a casino. I've never really heard of Sun Pacific, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I got a Honda Accord deck. This is a USB C deck, good quality. Uh, they usually sell on, I believe, on eBay for a bit more than what I'm selling it. Victoria decks. Uh, they're okay quality. I don't know how long they'll last, but is what it is. 250 each. I've got a CMYK deck which if you've never seen before is a very colorful deck of cards that's it there's no tips or anything like that pretty collectible nonetheless decent quality if you want one that's better I got the USB C version from Kickstarter project for five bucks so I'm even giving you options you can get Open ones cheap, you can get new ones that are sealed for a bit more or a better version for a bit more. This one is a good sized deck, it says it's an Espanol Spanish design. Uh, here's the back design, side of that, fairly standard faces, apparently printed in Israel, and it is a good sized, but I like it's a it's pretty good quality. I got Cardamunde Low Vision playing cards. Uh, decent quality card of of course. This is a Matt Bus deck of cards. You can see some of the cards. Pretty interesting. Printed by uh, Ad Magic, I believe. Decent quality. I got a few more on this list. I got this Noble House Piatnik deck. Actually, I think it's Piatnik Wheels back. It's a good size, but it's good quality. Pianic deck. I've got these Haunted Casino Ghost Cards. It's a pretty much a custom deck with lots of skulls, one way design on the back. Um, not sure who printed them, but if you're into this type of deck, you might be interested in it. I got these Seep's Head cards from the USBC website. Bicycle quality, it's for kind of a specific game. Um, blue and red. 250 each, of course. I've got opium playing cards, apparently printed in India. Is your back design? Uh, pretty interesting quality cards. I've got a bound deck, 250 each. It's pretty uh, simple little trick you can do. I decided, yeah, don't need it. I've got this. It's a, a gilded, gold gilded deck with metallic silver backs, rider back, bridge size, and there's no box. That's just how I got it. Um, but it's a pretty cool deck, definitely collectible. Definitely different. And, and then I've got one more in this list. It is a oh, Paulson Casino deck of cards. Which has cancel corners for Queen's Casino. And you know, a lot of these decks, even though they're cancel casino decks or they're they've been used a little bit for a review, they're still good for practicing magic or 
doing YouTube videos and stuff like that for anyone interested in. There's also some collectability value to them in some cases. But, oops. Ah, oh, crap. Just bear with me one second while I reorganize because I've got more. I do have more. Like I said, I did have some that I selling for five, five bucks out of, out of the ones I mentioned. But I do have some more that I'm selling for five bucks each. I've got the Mark Jacobs Vandal deck, open for review, five bucks. Max Pedition plastic uh, tactical playing cards. Slightly busted flap, I apologize. These are a plastic deck. Somewhat custom on the faces. Again, excellent condition. Especially if you're into outdoor stuff, you want a durable deck of cards, that's probably a good one. I've got a couple of uh, American Airlines kind of vintage decks. One is a first class, one is a business class, five bucks each. Kind of what you get on that one. And this one, same thing except uh, blue. And apparently they're kind of stuck together, but you wouldn't buy these to, to use for poker, you buy them as a vintage deck. And they've always been kind of sticky. In fact, I might even do those for less, but considering they're vintage for anyone who's a collector, that's definitely a good deal, as it is. I've got these two decks, five bucks each, from, um, what was the company again? One Widow. They sell on their website for like three times as much. Printed in Canada, I believe, and I just was never a big fan of the, the back designs and the faces. But they're definitely pretty cool. And this is basically the back on the other one. The side opening tuck cases as well. One of the first ones to do that, by the way. I got this Alien Ink Flowers deck. I got a couple of Blackjack brand casino decks. You, they are Carter Moon Day. Uncancelled, Sahara, Hotel, Orange, and kind of purple. Excellent quality, like I said, for practicing or doing tricks or whatever. And they were unused in a casino, uncancelled. Um, uh, like I mentioned before, I do got the CMYK USB-C version from Kickstarter. Five bucks and it's yours. I got well this one I actually a little bit unsure, but it's a Thomas Sullivan deck of cards. It says he's the world's greatest escape artist. I'm not really familiar with him, but it's autographed. I might do it for five bucks. I actually gotta double check on that before I actually say I'm gonna sell it. I got some other decks here, export a cigarette deck, USB C. Whoops. And another one that's a vantage cigarette deck, also USB C. Bridge size decks. Another bridge size deck is this Lose World from Lufthansa Air. Here's kind of your back design. Pretty cool little collectible deck. So this one is not USB C, I'm not sure who printed it. And as I mentioned, these other ones, the uh, American Airlines decks are also good size, if I didn't mention. Also, some more vintage decks, four signed Sioux playing cards. I decided five bucks each. Vintage decks, pretty sweet deal, I think. There is a needle through, or uh, needle through deck, deck uh, gimmick, whatever, five bucks, pretty good price, I think. Make it a deck cocktail playing cards. These are foil cards. From Jack Daniels, pretty cool in my opinion. Why not? Actually, I'm not even sure how this made it to this list, but hey, whatever, I'll get rid of it. Five bucks. I got also a Aristocrat Casino deck, Connaught Beats, Stinger Back, five bucks. I might regret that. <laughs> Uh, I got these big card playing cards apparently Jamako printed 
good size. I've done bougies on them. There's three different colors. They all got yellow faces. One way back. Definitely still pretty interesting. The reason why I'm trying to get rid of some of these is just to make room and also I just I'm going to try to focus on the more customized decks from Kickstarter and different magic websites as opposed to kind of standard decks and fashion decks and whatever. So these ones are pretty interesting. Five bucks each. I got this Trickster Company playing cards, Tlingit Language Edition. Five bucks. It was from a Kickstarter. It's a USB C. Very good quality. The only thing is the faces also have these native language indexes on them, but they're still pretty cool, especially if you're left handed because you're lefties. And it's completely custom, so why not? Uh, almost done, by the way. I've got two um, nipple lace index. These are from, I got them from 311. One of them is still brand new, sealed. Uh, as sealed as they come. And the other one is open. Uh, the cards, they basically got nothing on it. They're manipulation. It's supposed to blend in with your skin color unless you're African American. Um, pretty cool. They're printed by Protea in South Africa. Very thin. That's what they're known for. You could probably palm this whole deck and nobody would notice. It's so thin. Five bucks each on those ones. One is still sealed. And again, a couple more I'm probably going to regret. I got some Zamako Casinos. I got these traditional series ones and alpha series ones. These ones are from Freddy's Club. There's a reddish one and a black one. And these ones, are in a, kind of a purple and a green, are from Mardi Gras Casino. Zamako cards. Uh, the only difference between alpha and traditional is a little bit different stock and fit on the uh, stock, but the finish is the same basically. I've got this versatile tossed out deck I'm trying to get rid of. Nobody seems to want to buy it. So I'm going to go five bucks to get rid of it. It's, it's what it is. It's kind of an odd deck. But um, it sells for a lot more than five bucks, I'll tell you how much. And I've also got this home run zombie riders. So not a USB-C deck, but the quality is alright. There's a bad design for anyone who's interested in weird decks. Might as well pick this one up. It's a pretty decent quality. And and I'll probably regret this, but why not? They're taking up space. The Brazil World Cup cards from Carter Moon Day is a green, there's a blue, and there's an orange. Five bucks each. Fairly standard, but they do have custom backs and some custom jokers and whatnot. That is that. Hell of a deal, I think. I just want to make some room to get rid of these decks. Of course, if you're looking for some of the more custom decks, I do have tons of decks. Whatever it's Illusionist, Fear 11, Blue Crown. Other bicycle decks, Club 808 decks, um, Conjuring Arts decks, you name it, I probably have it.